I have brought peace, freedom, justice, and security to my new empire. Your new empire? Don't make me kill you. This is an emergency press conference today. EA Sports announced that they are taking out speed strat card items from Madden 23. Last year, we had strat card items that were very expensive to get. Before that, we had Sprinter, which was a training thing you would put on your entire team. And now, it looks like there's no speed boosts at all. So this leaves us in a very, very, very important uh, predicament here. One of two things is going to happen, very similar to the Anakin and Obi-Wan situation. Either theme teams are going to be dead, which means they're not going to have a speed boost, you're just going to have a theme team with like plus two strength, plus two whatever, but speed's not going to be one of the boosts. Scenario number two is that theme teams are the only way to get speed boost, which would mean theme teams are the strongest they've ever become, but theme teams would be so strong and be the only way to get plus one speed, plus two speed to your team, to your cards and everyone pretty much in theory would be meta to have a theme team. However, I think we would see a lot of Raiders, Niners, and Cowboys, which, I mean, it's like that every year anyways, but for me, theme teams being the strongest they've ever been would really help the channel. That leaves us in a pretty intense situation. I have no idea what's going to happen. I personally think theme teams might be dead. I think they might be dead, which would suck. But, you know, it's nothing that we can't battle through. You know, we've came this far as a content creator. Them taking theme teams out of the game won't take me out of the game, man. It won't. Uh, but we would definitely have to alter our course of action through content uh, if that were the case. Or we get theme teams being the strongest they've ever been, which would be an absolute W. But one thing that makes me think theme teams are still going to be in the game is because on the Coralie items, they still have team chems, right? And why... Would you need a team chem in the game if the chems wouldn't add up and add to stats? They also said since there's no power-ups that team chems were going to be able to be switched on the core elite cards, you know. So like Corderell Patterson is listed as a Falcons player on his card, but they said you can go in and change his uh, team chem very similar to how the veteran cards were last year. That is official. That's all the facts pretty much that we have. So that kind of leads me to think if you can change the team chem on cards, why would the team chem be there in the first place if the chem doesn't boost stats? You know what I mean? I, I guess it could be like a cosmetic type of thing, but that would just be a load of BS. Although we are talking about EA here. So, you know, I've got my hopes up so much just to have them be snatched away from me by the greedy monsters over at EA Sports. But, you know, I think that we can't lose hope. You know, we, we can't lose hope at all. Another Star Wars reference. I, that analogy actually kind of makes sense though, right? Obi-Wan being EA Sports, Anakin being the Raiders theme team. Either they're going to be the strongest they've ever been, which is probably likely. I think they leave theme teams in the game and we see the Raiders theme team, the Niners theme team, the Cowboys theme team, and uh, many other theme teams become really the source of speed in Madden, which, I mean, speed's the most important thing, right? If you're comparing Devontae Adams with 84 speed, I don't know if that's his actual speed, and Tyreek Hill with 87 speed, you're going to go with Tyreek Hill because you can just run around people in the game. It's just how the game works. Fundamentally, speed is one of, if not the most important thing. So if theme teams are the only source of speed boosts, I think everyone should be running theme teams, right? And that'll probably end up adding another avenue to our channel. So this could be either a the biggest year, regardless, it's going to be the biggest year for me. Uh, just because where we are in our situation right now, year three, lots of experience under the belt in my prime, you know, whatever. I think theme teams should, I, I think theme teams are going to get boosted up like crazy. And, you know, we have a week to find out, which is going to be very interesting. Obviously, any theme team updates are going to be on this channel. I was just thinking about this today and uh, I tweeted about it. Our theme team's the only way to get a speed boost in Madden 23, like the only source of a speed boost. And you know, it's just been on my mind. So anything Madden related that's on my mind, I feel like I should probably make a video for it, right? I'm sure you guys are thinking the same thing. And if you're not, you guys should definitely be thinking about this. And right when the game drops or if they release more information, you guys should be looking for the answer to this question. Because if you can plan out what team you're gonna build and get that done, executed in the first week, you are going to be sitting pretty. You're going to be dominating your opponents, especially if you have a good theme team with high speed cards. You no, know, everything is going to come full circle in this next week. The answer for this question will be out there, which is exciting. Also, kind of nervous for it because what if they're just gone? What if they just go, Jack, theme team, flick them away, gone forever? That would kind of suck, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, nah, it would. It definitely would. 
But that's pretty much my two cents. This is a shorter video. I know I've kind of been releasing shorter videos because I don't like to just talk about nonsense. I talked about nonsense a little bit this video, but I'm not going to make, you know, super long vid. I'm not getting paid from ads. It doesn't matter. That's the question. Keep your eyes peeled for the answer. Theme teams, strongest of all time, or they're just vanished, uh, re gone, reduced to atoms, Thanos style. So... Hopefully, you know, you guys enjoyed this video. That's what's on my mind. And that being said, Jack signing.